Good morning. Um, I wanted to do a quick uh, comparative review of two, uh, two devices that I think a lot of folks in ministry are thinking about buying or maybe have already bought and are trying to figure out if they bought the right thing or whatever. And, uh, and that is the Kindle versus the iPad. Um, a bunch of people have asked me, uh, knowing that I have both, uh, which I prefer and which I use for what. And so I thought I would uh, do a quick review and then kind of just compare the two so that uh, if you're trying to make a decision on what to buy, maybe you'll be a, a little bit more informed by uh, someone that you know. So here's the Kindle. I bought this uh, uh, in the fall sometime. And, uh, you know, it's one of those things that I didn't think I was actually going to like or use. And I end up uh, both liking and using. And I think it's uh, really good for uh, what it's been created for. First of all, it's super light, right? So it only weighs a couple of ounces. You can see that. And uh, it's super easy to use. It's so easy that um, my... Uh, now 10 year old uses it and uh, reads stuff on there. And I'll tell you a couple things that I like about Kindle. First of all, there are just a ton of, uh, of books available, hundreds of thousands. Um, and for somebody like me who digs the classics, um, most of the classics are free. So uh, that's even better for somebody um, like me on a budget who doesn't have unlimited money for uh, for books and for consumables as I consider them in a budgetary perspective. Um, so yeah, and where I end up using this a ton is if I'm traveling. If I'm on a plane, or if I'm sitting in an airport, or if I'm just uh, a passenger in a car, or whatever, I can whip this sucker out. Or uh, even on the trolley as I commute every day, I can uh, read a few pages here and there. I didn't think I'd really like the format. Um, I know I read in a bunch of reviews that after a while you would forget that you were reading on a device. I've never forgotten that I'm reading on a device, but it is so light and so easy to use. Um, that I don't mind reading on it, and I end up reading a lot more than I was reading before. So. That's how I use that. There's other things that uh, the Kindle can be used for, for music player and other things like that. I don't use it for any of that. I just use it for reading. Um, and, uh, and yeah, um, there's another format out there for Kindle that I, I really like and maybe you should be uh, uh, looking into. It's called the Amazon Single. And uh, I would describe that as short enough of a book to read on a plane. So I think like 50 to 90 pages. It's really one really good thought from the author. And uh, and yeah, so I like the, the new uh, Kindle singles. Um, so yeah, so then I bought the iPad when it came out. My daughter and I sat in line for this sucker for uh, four hours. See, there's that. And uh, we've got this cool, fancy cover thing. Um, and so when I, when I bought the Kindle, I wasn't really sure, or the, uh, the iPad, I wasn't sure how I was going to use it. Um, I, I mostly bought it because of the height, really, to be completely honest with you. Um, so... I mean, there's things that it does that are that are just elegant and beautiful, you know, um, you know, like iPhoto is really cool, and uh, you know, all the apps that if you have an iPhone, you're used to how the apps work. Um, things that I like about it, again, pretty light. Um, I guess it's significantly lighter than the uh, previous version. Um, there's lots of uh, cool uh, apps on the uh, on the on the thing. One thing I do almost every night because I don't really watch television very much is. And I'll try to control the glare here, <laughs> or whatever. You can see I watch the news uh, on there, CNN, CBS, um, kind of keep up with my news usually before I go to bed, uh, just kind of have an idea of what happened in the world when I was working and doing stuff. Um, uh, but I have to be honest and say that um, I don't really use the, the iPad for much more than media consumption. Um, I, I do watch, I do love the, uh, the Netflix player. Um, the internet browser is not as fun as using a computer. Um, I've tried to write on it. I've written a couple of articles for magazines and, and blog posts and stuff like that using the WordPress app or, or Evernote, which I do love for the iPhone. Um, and I find the uh, the typing on the iPad to be pretty clunky. Um, it's hard to type. I type uh, 50 to 60 words a minute on a on a de on a like a keyboard. Um, on the iPad, I really, really struggle, maybe 20 words a minute. And, uh, and so I find it more frustrating than anything. Um, I've also had a couple of glitches where uh, I saved a document and it wasn't there. And so, you know, lose a few, few paragraphs of an article or, or uh, a paper or whatever I'm writing. Uh, super, super duper annoying. Um, other things that I, I like with the iPad, obviously, are the toys. Uh, my kids love to play with it. Um, originally, we bought it thinking it would replace their MacBook uh, that they play on, um, and it doesn't because of the whole Flash thing, and all the kids' games that are out there on their websites are all Flash-based. Um, so that doesn't work, and uh, so they don't end up using it very much, but uh, I sure like it. Now, if you're thinking about, um, say, this device or this device, you know, the real question is, which one do you get? Um, and so... 
first of all, this is only like $139. Okay, so that's that's a lot cheaper. There's even an ad supported one where it gets even cheaper than that. I think it's $119. Um, so if you're just going to read and you, you love books and you want to eliminate the stacks of books that you have in your house, um, the Kindle is a great, uh, great way to go. I'm not going to lie about that. A publisher would be a fool to not be publishing everything that they're doing now, both in uh, paper format and Kindle. Um, as far as e-reading goes on the iPad, it's miserable. I mean, it's just, it's the, the high glare screen um, is a, it's just, it, I can't read on it. I've tried to, even with the Kindle app, I don't like it at all. Um, I can read news stories and blogs and stuff like that on the iPad, but it's just not a very good reading device, particularly in comparison to the uh, the Kindle. Um, now, the iPad does have uh, some of the stuff that if you're in ministry, you would really like. It has a really great Bible app. Um, there's the, the logo stuff, so you could do some study and whatnot. Um, if I were to compare the iPad to using my desktop for those same purposes, I'm gonna use my, uh, my, my MacBook Pro for that. Um, all day, every day. Um, the Kindle obviously doesn't have a camera. The iPad has a camera, which I would consider pretty crappy compared to uh, my iPhone. Um, I use my iPhone for those types of things um, and not the, the iPad because, well, if you haven't noticed, the uh, even though the iPad is small, the uh, iPhone is quite small, smaller, and so I can hold it out and uh, and shoot videos and, and not be clunky. Um, maybe they'll have to come up with some sort of a contraption for uh, putting the iPad on a on a on a, uh, on a tripod or something, but I don't know. I haven't figured out how to use it for video yet. I think it's a two-person job, and the camera quality actually is not as good as uh, on the iPhone. So, um, other other things. Um, I mean, they're both both pretty small, both pretty light. Uh, the the Kindle is probably a tenth of the weight of of the iPad, but neither one of them are heavy enough to really be a concern. So yeah, um, and then obviously the the weight of the whole thing is price. So uh, with Kindle, it's like $139 if you get the uh, the Wi-Fi only one. With the iPad, it's $499 if you get the Wi-Fi only one. And a little bit more for both of those, plus you have to buy the service if you're... Well, actually, with the Kindle, you don't have to pay for the service, but uh, you can get the the, uh, the 3G versions of either one of those. So um, that's what I'm thinking. Um, I like both devices. I, I use them both a little bit. Um, I haven't quite figured out exactly utilitarian-wise what the iPad is for, but it's a really fun toy, and I really like to consume media on it. And it's probably uh, it's pretty much replaced the use of television for me, at least, um, pretty much altogether. So, but I also dig the Kindle, perfect for when I'm traveling or if I just want to read a book. So, that's the scoop. I uh, hope that's helpful for you. And uh, if you have any questions, leave me a comment. <laughs>